let's look at this particular interview question where we are writing down int string equals 50 so now the question arises can i store 50 in string because string is a class okay string is a class so in java we have always okay you know came across this particular statement where many trainers they tell in java keywords cannot be variable name so what is keyword says if you look at public is a keyword it is not a class name it's a keyword so public okay equals 50 will give you an error if you write down okay static int static equals 50 you will get an error if you write on int void equals 50 you will get an error so there are a list of keywords in java which you can see this here these are all the list of keywords in java right so if any of these keywords you are using it you would get an error complete list of keywords you can click here and have a look at it that what all keywords basically we do have here so you don't see anywhere string to be given as a keyword string in java is a class name and in java basically class name can be used class name can be used to store a value in it like this int string equals 50 this will work 100 percent output of this will be 50 suppose if i write down the class name is a so if i write on int a equals 50 definitely this is going to work it will print 50 we have one more class in java called as thread so if i write down int thread equals 50 okay so let's try to print thread and this would print 50 so in java variable name can be class name we can also do this string again you can write down string equals double quotes string okay so please understand now string here is a class name this will be treated as a variable name and this will be the value stored in it so the ultimate thing what i want to tell you is class name variable name okay is possible you can make class name as a variable name that is possible so if i write down string this would be printing 50 sorry not 50 this would be printing string i hope you're clear with this okay